The James Webb Space Telescope and the Ocean World K218b The James Webb Space Telescope, or JWST, is currently the most advanced space observatory ever launched by humanity. Developed through a global collaboration between NASA, the European Space Agency, ESA, and the Canadian Space Agency, CSA, JWST is designed to answer some of the deepest and most profound questions about the cosmos. Its primary purpose is not just to observe distant stars or snap pictures of galaxies. It's to transform our understanding of the universe, from the formation of the earliest galaxies to the potential for life beyond Earth. Using infrared technology far more powerful than any of its predecessors, the telescope peers across time and space, allowing us to study objects over 13 billion light years away. Recently, scientists used this incredible telescope to focus on a particularly interesting target. A star system located roughly 120 light years from Earth, in the direction of the Leo constellation. What they found was beyond remarkable. Evidence suggesting that a planet orbiting that star might not only have the essential elements for life, but could also be covered by a vast liquid ocean. That planet is called K218b, and it is quickly becoming one of the most studied exoplanets in our galaxy. Globe what is K218b? K218b is an exoplanet, a planet located outside our solar system, and it's categorized as a sub-Neptune meaning it's larger than Earth but smaller than Neptune. Its mass is about 8.6 times greater than Earth's, and its diameter is roughly 2.6 times larger, placing it in a unique size range that doesn't exist in our own solar system. K218b orbits a cool red dwarf star named K218, which is significantly smaller and dimmer than our Sun. However, the planet sits in the star's habitable zone, the region where temperatures are just right for liquid water to exist. This makes K218b an especially exciting target for astronomers, as water is one of the most essential ingredients for life as we understand it. Test tube atmospheric composition and evidence of carbon-based molecules What makes the recent findings so groundbreaking is JWST's detection of carbon-bearing molecules in K218b's atmosphere specifically methane, CH, and carbon dioxide, CO. These molecules are particularly interesting because they are closely associated with organic processes and life on Earth. In fact, methane and carbon dioxide are among the primary greenhouse gases that regulate our own planet's climate and are byproducts of both geological activity and biological life. The discovery supports earlier predictions made using the Hubble Space Telescope, which had already hinted that K218b may have the right conditions for life. However, JWST's superior infrared sensitivity has now confirmed the presence of these gases with far greater accuracy. What's even more fascinating is that the detection suggests the planet has a hydrogen-rich atmosphere, something rarely found in planets that might support life. A hydrogen-rich sky, combined with methane and carbon dioxide, indicates that K218b may be a Hycian world, a theoretical class of exoplanets proposed by researchers, which could feature deep oceans beneath thick hydrogen atmospheres. Wave is there an ocean beneath the clouds? All available data points toward the possibility that K218b is covered in liquid water likely in the form of a global ocean hidden beneath its atmospheric layers. The evidence becomes even more compelling with a potential detection of dimethyl sulfide, DMS, a compound that, on Earth, is almost exclusively produced by marine phytoplankton. While this signal is still preliminary and not yet confirmed, its presence would be one of the strongest chemical signs of biological activity beyond Earth. Future observations using JWST and other tools will help confirm whether DMS truly exists in K218b's atmosphere. Warning but is there life? Not so fast. Despite all the excitement, scientists remain cautious. While the planet lies in the habitable zone and contains carbon-related molecules, this does not confirm life. K218b is likely very different from Earth. Its massive size suggests it has a dense interior, possibly consisting of a high-pressure icy mantle, with only a thin outer atmosphere. Even if it has an ocean, the water may be too hot, too pressurized, or chemically unstable to support life as we know it. 
Still, the discovery of these atmospheric ingredients makes K218b one of the most promising candidates in the search for alien life in the known universe. Telescope how the observations were made the way scientists collected this data is equally fascinating. K218b is a transiting exoplanet, meaning it crosses in front of its star from our point of view on Earth. As it transits, starlight passes through the planet's atmosphere, and this light is subtly altered depending on the gases present. JWST captures this filtered light and breaks it into its spectral components, allowing scientists to identify specific chemicals by their unique infrared fingerprints. This is what allowed researchers to spot methane, carbon dioxide, and potentially DMS. Ushering in a new era of precision atmospheric JWST's impact on galactic origins and the hunt for ancient life The James Webb Space Telescope isn't just helping us investigate nearby exoplanets like K218b. It's also offering a window into the early universe, allowing scientists to explore how galaxies formed, evolved, and created the building blocks of life. In one stunning observation, JWST detected complex organic molecules in a galaxy that formed billions of years ago, a discovery that is completely rewriting our understanding of how fast the universe became chemically rich. DNA organic molecules in the early universe The galaxy in question, named SP41847, formed when the universe was only about 1.5 billion years old. Given that the universe is currently around 13.8 billion years old, this makes SP41847 one of the oldest and most distant galaxies ever observed. Incredibly, JWST found aromatic hydrocarbons in this galaxy, carbon-based compounds that are also found in coal, petroleum, and urban pollution here on Earth. These molecules are large and structurally complex, composed of dozens or even hundreds of atoms. They're typically linked to organic chemistry, and their presence in such an early galaxy took astronomers completely by surprise. Collision challenging cosmic models before JWST, scientists believed that these types of molecules only formed later in galactic development, after multiple generations of stars had seeded the interstellar medium with carbon and oxygen. But the discovery in SP41847 suggests that the universe became chemically rich far earlier than expected, raising major questions about how fast the first stars and galaxies formed the elements needed for life. It also suggests that the foundations of organic chemistry might have been widespread much earlier than previously thought, possibly increasing the chances for life-bearing environments across the cosmos. Telescope tracing the origins of the Milky Way JWST's observations also help us understand our own galactic heritage. By studying ancient galaxies like SP41847, astronomers can learn how materials such as carbon, oxygen, and hydrogen spread through space over time. These elements are essential not only for stars and planets, but also for the molecules that make up living organisms. JWST is enabling researchers to track the flow of these elements, giving us a detailed picture of how galaxies evolve and how the ingredients for life come together. Milky Way a future full of discovery we are only just beginning to scratch the surface of what JWST is capable of. Its power to detect not just stars and planets, but also chemical traces of potential biological activity, means that we now have a real chance of discovering biosignatures on exoplanets. In addition to K218b, other promising worlds like TRAPPIST-1e, LHS-1140b, and others will be studied in detail. These planets, many of which orbit small, cool stars, could provide even more insights into where and how life might arise. Brain what it all means with each observation, the James Webb Space Telescope brings us one step closer to answering humanity's oldest and deepest questions. Are we alone in the universe? How did life begin? How did the universe evolve into what we see today? The discoveries of carbon-rich exoplanets, ancient organic molecules, and habitable zone worlds make it clear that the building blocks of life are not unique to Earth. This may not yet confirm alien life exists, but it makes it increasingly plausible that life, in some form, could have emerged elsewhere in the cosmos. Studio microphone closing thoughts thanks to JWST. We are now witnessing the universe not as we imagined it, but as it actually is. Complex, ancient, and filled with chemical potential. 
As new missions launch, and as telescopes become even more powerful, we will continue unlocking the secrets of deep space. So if you're fascinated by the possibility of life beyond Earth, by the origins of the elements, or by the incredible journey of the cosmos, stay curious. Be sure to like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell so you never miss an update on humanity.